Okay, so what we have here is a Toshiba laptop with a crap load of um, spyware or software that pretends to fix your computer and that actually causes the problem. So there's two ways to fix this laptop. Uh, you could either try the built-in Windows, and this has Windows 10. Uh, well, we could see if uh, Windows 10 recovery or reset the PC could work. And the easiest way to get to it, and it took me a while on this laptop, was to just go here in a search. And you search for uh, Reset PC. And then you have this icon here. Just uh, reset this PC. Now this brings you to this screen here. Um, now, um, this Windows 10 uh, was had a free update from Windows 7. Um, so we'd like to keep it, uh, use this kind of uh, resetting first versus the factory uh, Toshiba reset um, because this will keep the Windows 10 installation. Okay, so uh, we don't want to go back to Windows 7, we just want to reset this PC. Uh, that would be the best way. Uh, but of course before you do this, just uh, you, of course you have to make sure that you back up all your files. Um, we're not going to go over this in this video. Uh, we're just going to reset the PC, okay? Uh, but you'll see here that there's like a ton of other just crap, like some, I don't know, software that just pretends to fix it, some PC helpers, PC cleaners, uh, system healer, uh, it's just like a crap ton of software. Okay, alright, so let's go to the reset PC. Hope you can see the screen, okay? Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, it's loading. Okay, so what we want to do here, just to see um, if we can clear everything, is um, keep all the files, but remove all the apps and settings. So this should bring us um, to a clean slate. And then just, you gotta let the Windows do its thing. Okay, so now it gives you a list of all the apps that are going to be removed. Um, you can scroll down. A bunch of crap here. Okay. Toshiba stuff. That's fine. Okay. Now it tells you that this was recently updated to Windows 10. And if we do this, we will not be able to go back to the previous version, which is fine with us, okay? Are we ready to reset this PC? We'll remove all the apps and programs, change settings to their defaults, reinstall Windows without removing personal files. So we're keeping all the personal files. Okay, it says it's going to take a while. Sure. Okay. So the PC is restarting, and it's going to boot into the recovery mode. Okay. Now it's basically going from resetting PC by percentage. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes and it's only 33% done. Alright, we'll update in a sec. Okay, so it's been about half hour now, and it's 67% done. Okay, so it reached 100%, and now it's restarting. So this took about an hour. Now we're in the process of reinstalling Windows. Installs all the features and drivers. Mm -hmm. 
Whoa, looks like we're done here. So we're back after the installation. Okay. Let's click here, sign in. Yay, now we're clean. We can actually do something. You even notice that the CPU fan doesn't run as fast because none of the junky processes are running. Uh, how do we go to the task manager here? More details. See, our CPU is at like 3%, which means basically nothing's running. Um, yeah, so basically here now we have a clean installation. We can go back into our files. Uh, yeah. It's really nothing. We have some downloads. Yeah. Super optimizer. Well, that's crap. Okay. Let's delete this one. Okay, well, so this actually concludes the video of resetting uh, via the Windows 10 um, option. So, so I would say that resetting via Windows 10, uh, the built-in option for Windows, uh, it's actually working really good. Clean out all the programs, no issues. And we basically, this is better than resetting uh, back to the factory state, especially in this scenario because we wanted to keep the Windows 10 installation because the Windows 10 installation was a free upgrade uh, I didn't want to go back to Windows 7 okay thanks for watching